Well, Fergus Hay from the communications agency Ligas uh, Delaney joins me now. Um, uh, Fergus, it's interesting because 2.7 million new subscribers doesn't sound bad, but the fact it's about half what they were forecasting is that a worrying sign for Netflix, do you think? Well, Netflix have built incredible value based on acquiring new customers and keeping them really, really active. So clearly it's a metric to watch. I suspect the pricing has affected that and that's been well documented. But the real challenge for them is their content slate. So when they first came to market, they solved the problem for consumers. They gave an amazing content delivery platform and they were the market leader in that space. That's now going to be a commodity. That's going to be the base level entries for all of the parties. So now you've got to win on content and consumers will follow that. And of course, they're up against the really big boys and Disney and Warner and the others. But this latest set of results is before Disney even launches it. So that won't happen until November this year. And, and presumably there will be, uh, you know, some jitters at Netflix about what impact that will have? Well, when Disney hit the market, they're going to hit it with real force. And ultimately, they will um, take content off Netflix, as will the other partners. And that makes it a very fragmented market. So I think the jitters should be about how the consumers will react. We had consumers' problem being solved by having one consolidated access point. Now, a consumer's going to have to go to lots of different um, platforms, pay lots of different subscription models. And ultimately, it's becoming more complicated and more fragmented for the consumer. I'm not sure that they're going to benefit at the moment. Do you think we might see uh, price cuts among the, the different services on offer to try and win customers Is it a, a price war that could perhaps benefit consumers? I mean, clearly everyone's experimenting with pricing at the moment, and that's where you're seeing the volatility in, um, in Netflix's performance. I'm sure some people will cut price, but I think they'll probably go for premium content access. So who has got the greatest library that makes you want to follow that platform and access that content? Pricing will, of course, be affected by that, but I think the battle here is for top quality content. Did Netflix make a mistake in putting up its prices in some of its markets? I don't think it's a mistake. I think you've got to look at Netflix over its 10-year period, and they've had incredible um, growth. So, of course, they don't experiment with pricing. And ex ultimately, these are relatively small deviations for, on a 10-year on a norm. So I think every business experiments with their pricing, and they're looking for the perfect balance where consumers are willing to engage with their platform and still um, pay a price premium. OK, Fergus, really good to get your thoughts. Fergus, hey there. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Right, let's turn our attention to Asia now and more fallout from the trade war.